Hi guys, it's Taylor. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are planning for the week of Thanksgiving, which is the 23rd through the 29th. Um, and just like usual, before we get started, I wanted to show you how last week went. Now, you guys did not see me plan this week. Um, I did last week off of camera just because yeah, life has just been happening and I just felt like it would be more efficient um, for me to just do it off camera this week. So that's what I did. Um, and I really like the way that it worked out. I felt like this was a very functional spread for me. There were a couple things that I did differently from normal. Up here at the top, I actually scooted work up. Normally I put my YouTube videos up there and then label work down here like such. This was the week before. And as you can see, the week before, I, I did film this one, but I got like, I yeah, I wasn't in the planner hardly at all. So I never ended up filling out the sidebar and it just, yeah, I don't know. I just wasn't in my planner that week. But this week, I definitely was. And so what I did was I kind of added a small to-do list for work. A, because I felt like it would get me in my planner. I do feel like when it comes to getting things done at work, I tend to just like make to-do lists on um, sticky notes. And I was like, you know what? I have a planner. I need to be in it. And since I'm not using a daily anymore, um, I really thought it would be helpful to just make a short to-do list for work because when I have my plan time, there are a couple things that I have to do every day. Like I have to update my playlist and my online lessons. So I figured adding those there at the top would just be a great way for me to check off when I've completed those. Cause there have been some days when I like forgot to update my playlist and different things like that. So, um, playlist is just a fancy word for where the kids go to see what their assignments are for that week. But anyway, and then up here, I just decided to label whether or not we were learning in person or remote. We have been in person this entire time, but on Friday, I actually went remote and taught the kids at school through Zoom. Um, I Zoomed in and they put me on the projector in the classroom and my assistant principal just kind of like toted me around on an iPad. Um, and it ended up working out really well, but the reason I took Friday off was because I was possibly exposed to somebody who tested positive for COVID. Now we weren't around each other long enough um, for her to add me to her close contact list, but I did decide to get tested on Thursday, which was when I found out, and then stay home on Friday. And then Saturday I got my results back and they were negative, thank goodness, and I don't have any symptoms. Um, so they said I was in the clear and I was able to go back to work. Um, for next week. So I'm super glad about that. So yeah, I really liked having those short little to-do lists for work up at the top. And actually I got the idea from um, Tattoo Teacher Plans. Oh my gosh. I go through these phases where I'm like obsessed with her videos and I just kind of binge watch them. But she actually adds like her kind of work to-do list up at the top of her planner and I liked it. I was like, I, sh I feel like I should start doing that. So that is what I did. And then um, since I was kind of quarantining on Friday and Saturday, I just like stayed at home, did some self care. I was like, oh, I'm gonna film these videos for YouTube and I'm gonna do all this housework. And I was like, you know what? No, you just need to relax. So that's what I did. I got some reading done. I did some self care. You'll see down here that I had scheduled to go to a Friendsgiving, but obviously, since I had to get tested, I did not attend Friendsgiving. And then I canceled singing at church. The person I was exposed to is actually somebody from church. So I was like, you know what? I'm just not going to go to church and I'm not going to sing. So um, I went ahead and called up the worship leader and told him that I just don't feel comfortable singing at church until things have just really died down. Our numbers here in Kansas have just gone way up. Um, and it's just been a rough past couple of weeks in that sense. So I switched to attending church online and I really, really loved that. So now here we are planning for Thanksgiving week. And this is going to be an interesting week. We only have school two days and then 
we are on our break, which I am whew, so excited for. I'm just, I'm ready for a break. Um, so I will be using a planner Kate kit. This is kit 260. And I'm absolutely obsessed with this kit. The full boxes are just gorgeous. So I'm super, super excited to use this kit. So I'm gonna go ahead and get things started here. Okay, so I'm kind of torn. Last week I decided to leave the November 2020 peeking out. I thought that was really cute. I also got that idea from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Um, and I was thinking about doing it again this week, but I don't know. I kind of just want to cover it up, but I feel like the having the November show is kind of cute. What do you guys think? I think I'm gonna have it show. Okay, so I love how these full boxes look. They are so gorgeous. Um, and then I just set, decided to set up the long to-do list over here on the sidebar. It actually fits perfectly when I have this sticker lowered below the November 2020 words. So I think I like it. We're just gonna go with that. Okay, so I also remembered that I have these stickers I got from Planner Kate last year and I had only used a couple of them. Um, but there's a tree farm sticker and we are actually going to be going to a tree farm because for the first time ever in my life, I'm going to be buying a real Christmas tree. My family has always done artificial Christmas trees um, since I can remember. They said that they've done a few of them before, but I, I must have been a baby or it was probably before I was born. Um, and so I have just really been interested in trying out a real Christmas tree. And since I live on my own for the first time, no roommates or anything like that, um, I decided I wanted to go for it. So I ended up contacting my landlord because I was like, can our apartment, is it okay for us in these apartments to have real Christmas trees? And she was like, actually, nobody has asked me that. And she was like, just make sure your renter's insurance is is current and that you are watering it every day. So um, I'm a little nervous just because a lot of people make it sound like it's so dangerous to have a real Christmas tree. And I do understand the hazard, but I also am like, oh my gosh, like I don't want to set my entire apartment building on fire. <laughs> but I think I can manage it. I'm really, really excited. And I'm going to get to go to a tree farm for the first time to pick out a tree. So I'm just really excited to be able to use that sticker. And be able to go and do that. It's going to be a blast. So before we get to Christmas tree farm stuff, because that's not going to be until Friday, um, let's just start with my plans for the normal week. So I'm only going to be working Monday and Tuesday, and I am going to be going back to work. So I think I'm going to do what I did last week for these two days, and I'm going to add a little work to do list. So we're going to go like that and cut it here. Then what I just did was I just cut these and I just did three little Okay, so that works perfectly. Okay, so that works great. Then starting Wednesday is when we are on Thanksgiving break. So I don't know if I have a Thanksgiving break sticker. 
I know that I need to get some more of these Planner Kate holiday stickers and some more of the teacher ones. Darn it, yes, so I'm gonna need to get some more of these. So maybe I'll just put, there is a fall break. I'll just put fall break, even though it is Thanksgiving, you guys get the gist of it. So, I think I'm gonna use some of this thin washi. Let's put it on this cute little leafy one. All right, so I think I'm just gonna layer it like this. We'll just put fall break. Cause that's essentially, we don't technically have a fall break. I know like when I was in college, we had like a fall break and then a Thanksgiving break. Um, but for our kiddos, we only have a Thanksgiving break, but whatever. Again, it, it basically means the same, the same thing. So there is fall break. And since I don't have a Thanksgiving sticker, which kind of makes me sad, and I'm probably going to have to write it in. And Lord knows I love my handwriting. Yeah, I don't. All right, so I'm just going to have to write Thanksgiving in. But I think I'm going to put it on a decorative sticker. Oh, my gosh. Yay. Planner K already has a Thanksgiving Day sticker. I should have known. Yay, that makes me so happy. So then I can just put Thanksgiving Day there. That's perfect. All right, phew. We didn't have to, <laughs> we didn't have to write it in myself. That is always a good thing. So then I need to add in a weekend sticker, but do I wanna use this washi or do I wanna use this washi? Hmm. I think I'm gonna use this. Sorry guys, my camera just died, but on a good note, I finally bought myself a second battery pack. So when that happens, I can just immediately stick in a new one and keep going, put the other one on the charger. Okay, so what was I doing? Um, oh, I was taking off this washi so that we could use it. Honestly, that's kind of a lot of white light colored stuff. I don't like the rounded edge on this, so I'm gonna snip it. So let's get into my plan. Monday, I do have a meeting right after school. Well, not right after school. We get out of school at 3.10, and then um, I have a Zoom meeting at four o'clock and it's for the new teachers to the district. So since I started in January, I count as a new teacher. So we have a meeting right after school and it'll probably last the full hour. Mm, let me find my meeting stickers. By the way, I think I'm gonna take out all of these plastic sleeves and just hole punch all of these sticker sheets because it's really annoying pulling them in and out of the plastic. I do like that it kind of like protects them and you know, keeps them from falling out, but I don't know, it's just kind of annoying. Um, Julie on from Julie's Plans just has hers hole punched in and then she just opens it and pulls out the sticker and it's so much easier. So I think I'm gonna do the same. Anyway, so I have a mentor meeting at four o'clock and then um, after that I'm just gonna go home and hopefully relax. Then on Tuesday I'm actually going to tutor right after school. There is a girl that I tutor, I help her out every once in a while. Um, she just texts me and lets me know she's a senior in high school. She just lets me know if she's needing some help on some things and so she asked me if I could come by anytime this week and I told her Tuesday was the only time I really have available. So I'm gonna put tutoring, I'm gonna put it on here. And that's just gonna be right after school. We'll say probably four will be the, about the time I can probably get there. And then 
after that, I'm going to my mother's house and we're gonna watch Bachelorette together. We've been watching it together for the past couple of weeks and her and my sister have been coming to my apartment, but I think we are gonna go to her place um, to watch it this time. So I'm gonna stick that. It's at seven, but I'm gonna plan on getting there pretty much going just right after um, I'm done tutoring. So, and then I'm gonna add a little TV sticker icon there. All right, so then we get to Wednesday. Wednesday, I need to plan my budget and my December goals. So, those are gonna be the two things that I'm gonna shoot for that are like most important for me. I think I'm gonna use one of these and I'm just gonna say to do I'm actually just gonna create a little to-do list. That's what I'm gonna do. It probably seems silly to do that when I have my to-do list over here on the sidebar, but this is gonna be more task oriented. And it's just gonna be like smaller things that I'm gonna try and get done. So I like that, but I'm gonna scoot this over actually. By the way, I was super upset to find out that Netflix took away that 70s show, apparently back in September. Um, I freaking love that 70s show and it's one of my go-tos. Like if I have some things I'm trying to get done and I want some background noise, like I'll put on that 70s show and it's no longer on Netflix and I'm so, so sad about it. So that kind of stinks. Um, <laughs> All right, so that's really all that I'm gonna have planned for Wednesday. Thursday is officially Thanksgiving day and my family is not going to have a Thanksgiving and neither is Chris's family. Um, Chris's mom is actually out of town. His sister just had a baby and she lives in San Francisco. So that's where his mom is at and his dad lives on his own. It doesn't really do much on the holidays. And then my family is usually the family that like goes full out and we do all sorts of stuff. But we have such a big family and my mom is just like, I just don't want to risk it. And like I said, our numbers are really rough right now. Three of us in the family have already been tested um, just because of possible exposure and a couple of the, us in the family are not feeling very well. And although we haven't had any positive cases within the family, my mom just wants to play it safe, which I think is a good idea. So Thursday, I'm just going to be spending the day with Chris and Jane because... I'm with both of them all the time anyway, and we're just gonna spend the day together. So I'm not really sure what our plans are as of now. I do think that we are gonna do some grocery shopping on Thursday to get like stuff that we want for Thanksgiving dinner because we're gonna kind of make it on our own. And I did grab these adorable Planner Kate icons. Um, I've been really into adding like doodles lately to my spread. I haven't been doing it, but I've been inspired to do it. Um, and so I bought these. I liked the grocery bags and the grocery cart and I couldn't decide which one I wanted. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna use the little grocery bag and I'm gonna just put grocery time on Thursday. Um, What are we gonna put it on? Let's put it on Let's just put it on one of these darker ones here. So I imagine we'll do that probably first thing on Thursday. And then I, I kind of just want to spend the day like cooking together. Um, I think it would be a fun opportunity for us to just have that quality time. I am on this kick lately where I really want to bake a pie. I'm not a cook and I'm not a baker either. I really just like don't belong in the kitchen. It's just stressful for me. Cooking stresses me out to no end. But I've been on this mission where I really, really, really want to bake a classic apple pie from scratch. So now that my family is not getting together on Thursday, I'm thinking I'm just going to do it. I think I'm going to have Chris like bake 
our Thanksgiving dinner food. And then we're gonna actually pick up turkey from my mom. So she's gonna have smoked turkey that we can come grab. Um, and we're gonna go grab some from her and then we'll cook all the sides. And then I am gonna put myself in charge of dessert and I'm gonna make it my mission to create my very first pie. And <laughs> who knows if it'll be a disaster, um, but that's okay because it'll just be Chris and me and Jane. So that's gonna be kind of my plan. And then I imagine we will just eat and chill on Thursday evening. So I'll just go ahead and stick this bigger sticker down. And I think it'd be fun if we ate, I don't know, let's see. Let's see we eat around five and then maybe here we will just do like our dinner prep. So I'll add it here. I wonder if I have like I said, I have been super into the doodle stickers lately just because a lot of people that I watch, Julie and Tattoo Teachers Plans, they both use um, a lot of doodles. And so now I kind of want to put a bunch in my next order. Here's some. I don't think, yeah, these are just kind of like the basic ones. I think, let's see if I have any from Planner Kate. Because she just put out some new samplers and I think I threw some in here. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. See, there's a little baking one. So that'll work perfect. So I'll just add that here. And yeah, we'll just put cook there. And then this will be actual dinner time. And so then I think I'm gonna put um, the fork and knife stickers from Planner Kate. These ones here, that'll work. Perfect. Yay, I love that. This is so cute. All right, so then Friday is when we plan on going to the Christmas tree farm. And I think, mm, I don't know what time we'll go. I'm just going to put it up at the top because that's going to be like our goal for the day. So maybe we'll put it on the orange here. I'll just add it here and then I'll add the time whenever it gets closer. Um, so we can talk about what time we want to go and all of that. So. We have tree farm up there. That is so cute. I'm so excited. And then I kind of just want to spend the day on Friday um, decorating. So I'll probably go shopping and get some decorations. I'll probably also stop at my mom's house to steal from decoration, some decorations from her because she has too many for her to even put out. Um, so I think it'd be a good time to go like search through her decorations and find some things for me to use this year. <clears throat> so... I think I'll add, yeah, I think I'll just put this other bigger one here and we'll just say like decorate or something. And then for Saturday and Sunday, I don't have any plans. Um, at least I don't think so. Sunday, our church is doing a Christmas decorating event. But again, I think I'm going to stay away from church because I just don't feel like it's the best idea right now. I can add it in to the calendar just so that way I know. Oh, yes. Wednesday evening. Oh, I totally forgot to add that in here. Okay. We're going to move some stuff around. So I think I'm going to move this up one. and move this checklist up because Wednesday night I am also going to my dad and stepmom's for dinner. They have been working from home so I feel pretty safe going over there. Um, so I kind of want to put this one on, I know it's a lot of this pattern up here but I kind of want to put this one back up here because I just feel like it would look, yeah, I do like that better. So then, 
how do I want to do this? We'll put dinner down here on here. And then I think I'm just going to add a dinner sticker from, I do have a dinner script from Planner Kate. And we'll add it here. And then I'll just put my dad's house there. And then I think that's it. Um, as far as my week goes, I think that's everything, which is actually a lot. Usually I don't feel like I have this much down, um, from the get go, but that should be everything. So I'm going to write in what I know of for sure. And then we'll wrap this video up. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna write in for now. I left these blank just because I wanna make sure like that's gonna be the plan on Thursday is to cook and then, you know, eat. Obviously, that's probably what we're gonna do, but I don't wanna write anything in yet just in case. Um, and then I'm gonna leave this one blank until I know what time we're gonna go to the tree farm. And then um, I wanna make sure that we are gonna spend the day decorating on Friday before I write that in. So it's just hard for me to plan things like that so far in advance. And so I just don't want to end up wasting the sticker if plans change. So anyway, that should be it for this plan with me. I'm really excited to just have a break from everything. Um, honestly, I'm seeing this year as a blessing. I think I've been in a rut clearly. Um, if you guys watched my last plan with me, you, you know that. Um, but I think, you know, not getting together with family, of course, is hard. But also, I have so many opportunities to see my family. And I should feel so blessed that I do have so much family to gather with and celebrate with. And even though we can't do that this year, it's kind of nice to just relax and not worry about hopping from house to house to house. It's just gonna be a chill Thanksgiving and I'm still gonna be able to talk with family and FaceTime with them and see them. And um, I still think that it's gonna be a wonderful holiday and I'm just really, really ready for this break. So anyway, let me know what your guys' plans are for Thanksgiving. By the time this goes up, it'll probably be, I don't know, I'm really not planning on getting my videos up on any particular day anymore. I'm just kind of getting them up whenever I feel like I have the time. Um, so I don't, if Thanksgiving already passed, let me know how your Thanksgiving was, what you did to celebrate this year. And if Thanksgiving has not passed yet, tell me what your plans are. I'd be glad to just hear what, what you're doing, what you're excited about, um, and what you're looking forward to this year with Thanksgiving. So. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching and I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye guys.